time. SEPTA wants to hear from you today. The Transit Authority is holding a public hearing on the bus revolution. SEPTA's first ever redesign of the entire bus network. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Jasmine Payud is live at SEPTA's headquarters in Center City this morning. She's got more on this for us. Jasmine, good morning. Good morning, Natasha. This is definitely something writers will want to know. This bus revolution, as it's called, is essentially an overhaul of the entire system that's meant to make the buses more reliable and easier to use overall. Now, joining me is the spokesperson for SEPTA, Andrew Bush. Andrew, how are you? Good. How are you? Good morning. What can you tell me about the system and tell me why this is such a big deal? So this is a, an important uh, part of what we're doing moving forward. We want to make sure that we're running our service as reliably and efficiently as possible. This is the first time we've ever undertaken this kind of overhaul of SEPTA's bus system, and we've been around since the 1960s, so it's been a long overdue process. What we want to do is add more frequent service, uh, remove some redundant services. So over time, you get routes that overlap and have some, have some stops and sections or large portions um, that overlap. We can better use those resources to increase frequency. Um, we're going to have 43% of our riders that are going to be within, um, going to be using bus routes that uh, run every 15 minutes or less, and then we're going to build on that. Uh, so it really is an effort to, to look at the system overall, um, to rethink it, and make it more efficient for riders now and as we move into the future. What do you say to people who are losing hope in the system who have, you know, shared their complaints with you? Sure. So, look, we, we've had staffing challenges uh, like a lot of major employers coming out of the pandemic. We're working to staff up. We have a lot of new training classes. We're training 40 new bus operators a month. That's where we, we've uh, felt it a lot, uh, losing people to attrition and trying to fill those positions. Um, so th this plan, what this plan does is it helps us with that by making the service that we have more efficient, um, but then also as we bring that, those numbers of operators back up, we can deploy them in a way that's making sure that we're providing uh, coverage along all routes consistently. Uh, so it kind of goes hand in hand with our efforts to staff up and you know get going post pandemic. Awesome, thank you, Andrew. So we also asked people what they thought. We know SEPTA is getting public opinion. But we asked some people as well, and here's what they had to say. The system, it sucks. They should be on time picking out the passenger and not detour every time you look at it. It's insufficient. Um, they're generally late. They go by you at the stops you're waiting on. You may have three or four buses for a week, you know, back to back, and then they'll go back to the regular where the buses are so crowded we can't even get in the door. I do hope that they make changes because changes is necessary. SEPTA is very interesting, and I think it's extremely frustrating because the bus revolution isn't much of a revolution at all. It's the same number of buses, just reconfigured in another way. I think it's ridiculous, and I think we need huge change in the city. So anyone who does want to voice their opinion, SEPTA is holding a public meeting tonight that's happening at the Temple University Leocora Center at 6 o'clock this evening. People can also join virtually. It's a chance to get your voices heard. There will be meetings throughout the rest of the month. Natasha, I'll send it back to you. Mr. All right, Jasmine, those writers not mincing words out there. Thank you very much. We appreciate that.